In this strategy card game, students in grades 6 through 12 work individually or collaboratively to build a spacecraft capable of exploring our solar system. Students must use problem-solving skills as well as their knowledge of and research into STEM and space exploration concepts to win the game. The object is to fully explore their destination by accumulating exploration points. The materials needed are game cards, two six-sided dice, marker game pieces for tracking damages to spacecraft, pen and paper to tally points, game mat, instructions, students individually or as a team of up to four players, and one to two hours to complete the game. For each team, print out the following. One deck of game cards, double-sided on 8.5 by 11 paper. Game mat, single-sided on 8.5 by 11 paper. You can also print out the game instructions for quick reference. The game mat can be assembled by taping the sheets of paper together along the dotted lines. The mat includes a place for your deck, your discard pile, and your spacecraft as they come into play. There are four types of cards, destinations, resources, instruments, and spacecraft. Destinations. These cards represent the locations you are setting out to explore, which is chosen at the beginning of the game. Each destination has its own challenges, some even requiring collaborative play. Players will find that some spacecraft and instruments are more appropriate at certain destinations than others. Each destination card has an exploration value, which is the number of points you will try to earn to complete your research and win the game. Each turn, the destination card will present a series of challenges to your spacecraft based on the number rolled on the dice. The number rolled determines the event that players must overcome using their available spacecraft and instruments. Destination cards should stay separate from the rest of the cards. Resources. There are two categories of resources cards, funding and research. Both are required to purchase spacecraft and instruments. The number inside the icons in the top right corner of the spacecraft and instruments cards indicates how much of each kind of resource is needed to purchase that card and put it into play. Only one resource card can be played from your hand each turn. When a player uses a resource card, it is tapped or turned horizontally to indicate it has been used in that turn. At the start of the player's next turn, all tapped cards become untapped or ready to use again, unless the environmental conditions from the destination card prevent it. Instruments. These cards can be purchased with resources cards to give spacecraft extra abilities. You must have the resources indicated in the top right corner of the card to purchase an instruments card and put it into play. You do not have to have spacecraft card in play to purchase an instruments card. Instruments can only be added to some kinds of spacecraft, which must have an additional instrument allowance noted. Instruments may provide spacecraft with special abilities, resistance to environmental conditions at the destination, improvements in durability, or research bonuses, as indicated on the card. For example, an instrument with a note of plus one or plus zero provides spacecraft with a bonus point in research strength, but no bonus points in durability. Spacecraft. These cards are the primary method for exploring your destination and earning exploration points. Before they can be played, spacecraft cards must first be purchased with resources cards. There are a variety of spacecraft cards with different details that make them vulnerable or resistant to different events in space. Placing them strategically on the game mat will help players keep track of how their spacecraft might be affected by different space events. Before starting the game, choose the destination you would like to explore and place that card in the middle of the game mat or somewhere visible for quick reference. Remember, each destination has different challenges that the spacecraft must overcome. Players should familiarize themselves with their destination and be strategic about the kinds of spacecraft, power sources, and instruments they use. The game begins by each player drawing seven cards from the shuffled deck. Players can choose to replace up to two of their cards, replacing their original cards back in the deck. Starting with the first player, each player takes a turn consisting of one or more of the following actions. Put down a resources card to go toward the purchase of a spacecraft or instrument. Remember that each player can only play one resources card from their hand each turn. 
purchase a spacecraft and put it into play to start accumulating research points at your destination. You must have the resources identified in the top right of the card to purchase a spacecraft and put it into play. Once spacecraft are put into play, they can begin accumulating research points at the destination. Purchase an instrument. You must have the resources identified in the top right of the card to purchase an instrument. Instruments can be purchased at any time, but they must be added to the spacecraft to accumulate research points. Add an instrument to a spacecraft. Instruments can only be added to spacecraft according to the rules on the spacecraft card. Once instruments are added to the spacecraft, their research value can go toward the destination total. Tap all used spacecraft and resources. Turn all used spacecraft and resources cards sideways. They cannot be used again until the next round. Draw a new card. At the end of their turn, each player draws one new card from the deck. Once all the players have taken a turn, tally the research points. Add up the research value of all the used spacecraft and instruments and subtract the amount from the exploration value of the destination. Roll the dice to get a challenge from the destination. Roll the dice and refer to the corresponding number on the destination card to see what actions you must take. Take the actions described on the destination card with all the relevant spacecraft and instruments in play, tallying damages by placing sticky notes, pennies, or other markers on the applicable cards and removing those that reach zero durability. Damages are permanent and cumulative as turns continue throughout the game. Spacecraft that reach zero durability have failed and are removed from play. Some spacecraft and instruments have special abilities that allow them to withstand damages, so be sure to read the cards carefully. After players have taken the actions described on the destination card and marked any damages, a new round begins and previously tapped cards that haven't been affected by the events at the destination are reset. Rounds continue in this fashion until players have subtracted the total exploration value of their destination to win the game or until players can no longer play a hand or the entire deck has been spent. To learn more, check out the full instructions found at this link. Learn about extensions and other ways to explore. Good luck with the game and keep on exploring.